Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in this video I will be doing the explosion compilation with all the ideas that I got from my fan request video I posted a little while ago. Um, most of you probably have seen it, but if not, basically I just asked everyone what they'd like to see with all these fireworks here. And I got some cool ideas and I thought of some myself. So now, I'm going to be using my old little camera just in case something explodes and hurts it. And we're going to go outside and do a whole bunch of experiments. And if you are one of my subscribers um, and can't tell, this is my new camera. Much better quality. And so you'll be seeing all my future videos filmed with this camera. So you have that to look forward as well. Anyway, let's get to it and blow some stuff up. Side and we're gonna get right to it with a user user suggested firework firecracker sorry and a little toothpaste bottle. Here we go. If they're good, I'll put them in slow motion. So wait around at the end for that. Damage report. Blow at the back. Here's a pack of 16 fireworks in a little candy container. It was supposed to be an Altoids container, but I couldn't find one. So we're going to wrap it up in some duct tape and see what happens. See how it goes. Extended tube. It landed over here, so if you didn't see all that. The aftermath is uh, pretty nice. Here's a coffee filter filled with snap, snap dragons and some caps I'm going to tie with an elastic and throw it at a wall. Put a rock in there for some extra weight and uh, let's see what happens when we throw it at that wall right there. One explosion, let's try again on the ground. When in doubt, just light it on fire. Firecracker and a half filled water bottle with the lid closed. With the lid hopefully closed. The next viewer request must be from somewhere where fireworks are illegal because all they wanted to see was a firework stuck in the ground. So here it is for that viewer. And if you're curious what the hole size is, nothing crazy, maybe the size of my finger, about an inch or two deep. Now we're going to dissect this firecracker see what's inside and see what we can play with maybe some colorful balls or that long fuse or something fun like that so inside the firework there's two parts the bottom cylinder part here had the black powder which will light with half of the fuse and the other half was a mixture of flash powder and little color balls and we'll stick a fuse in that too let's see how they do and it won't be as dangerous as just lighting the ball because it's unpressurized and won't act like a grenade but instead just hopefully a, a big colorful fire. Let's see how it goes. First up, gunpowder wrapped in tin foil. Very neat. Now for the more dangerous part, I have right there a container full of the flash powder and color balls in a little bunker and I'm going to go hide around the corner and I set the camera further back so you can hopefully see more of the explosion. Here we go. Just 
slow motion, that for sure. I've set the camera way back here to see if we can turn this top half of the pop can into a rocket by putting it on top of a firecracker in the dirt. Okay, so not too high, but still interesting. And for the finale, I had one person comment to blow up, blow up some fruit, and I was unsure of what to use until someone else posted, blow up a watermelon. Now this is a rotten, rotten watermelon, so don't worry, but I have five firecrackers in there. I'll light as many as I can first, and then light them individually afterwards, so let's set him back here. And the rottenness makes it a bit squishy too, so that should be exciting, so let's see how it goes. There's the reaction I was looking for. That is a K-busted watermelon. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I do lots of these fan videos and I try to comment as many of you guys as I can. So if you like that, then I'd recommend subscribing for lots more videos to come. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.